And we're going to be talking about record cancellations all across the board. This isn't just for Ford. This covers Mercedes, BMW, GM, even Toyota with their extremely low inventory causing all sorts of problems. Trust me, we all want dealers to have a good amount of inventory. That is a good sign for you as a buyer. It's an excellent sign if they've got vehicles available for sale, folks. And we'll talk about why. This is going down at GM, Chevrolet, Dodge, Ram, BMW, Audi, you name it. Have I forgotten anyone? Porsches are still, un Porsche is still unbelievably very expensive because they're low inventory. So good luck getting a Porsche, a good price on a Porsche. Chevrolet Corvettes, still low production compared to demand. Horrible prices on Corvettes. Two, three-year-old Corvettes are still selling for tens of thousands of dollars more than that original buy price, which means as a used purchase, they're horrible vehicles to buy used. You're going to pay way too much for them. Really, the trick here these days, if you want to get a great purchase, if you can get a very popular vehicle at MSRP, you've got a great future trade-in, a fantastic future trade-in. So the Ford Maverick, Super Duties, Ford Broncos, the demand is much higher than the actual supply in most regions. And what does this mean? This means these are great vehicles to save you thousands when you go to, guess what? Sell your vehicle, because it's gonna happen. We all purchase with the idea of, well, I'm gonna keep this vehicle forever. Even I say mm -hmm. it, I'm gonna keep this one a really long time. Boy, do I ever really love this one. And it never happens. People that generally trade every two years will continue to trade every two years. That's just Like not all the time change. you said it will be my forever car and finally one year and a half after that you sell it. <laughs> forever car. Yeah. <laughs> The ones I really truly love can I'll keep for a year to two years. So Ford Bronco right now is a fantastic vehicle to pick mm -hmm. up. And right now my dealership is selling these vehicles. They've got three available, four came in, three are available at MSRP. But here's the funny thing, I don't understand. Not only are some people not taking their orders when they come in, so that was happening, but then we ran out of people who are waiting for their orders and it's now mostly down to incoming inventory because well mm -hmm. when there's no vehicles left to give out to the list the dealership's still going to get inventory it, these are 2023 ford broncos and the same thing is happening for 2023 ford mavericks i don't understand we've got generally across ford you're looking at about you know, maybe some dealers are as low as 15% cancellation rate, but some are a little above 30%. And it's great that Ford does have a policy in place that really does encourage dealerships to make sure they're making real orders for real people who want their vehicles. Because if you go over 30% loss, you know, we've been covering this for two years, for a year, oh, it's been, this rule's been in place for about a year and a half, two years now. And we've been talking about it here on this channel. Ford, it's, I, I've seen it. Ford does send less vehicles to dealerships that lose more than 30% of their customers. Now, of course, we have record orders in the past. You know, if we go back to 2018, even back to as far as 2013, people never ordered this many vehicles. In the last three years, record amounts of vehicles have been ordered because they were low to no inventory. And that's why we have record orders. And with record orders being taken, well, naturally we'll have record cancellations. Mm -hmm. So don't be fooled by YouTube titles. It is true. <laughs> we do have absolute, absolute by far record cancellations. There have never been this many cancellations in the automobile history, I would speculate. But in the 10 years I've been doing this, never been this high, but we have, we, <laughs> we had, multiples more orders you know i remember on a that traditional year <laughs> i do three orders maybe four orders in a in a year and now i was doing let's say close to 200 orders in a year so let's say times 50 50 times more orders so we could have titled this record orders taking place but i wouldn't because it wouldn't be as catchy and because record orders are slowing down you know record orders were a, 20, a thing of 2022. 
2021, people were saying, no, I'm not going to order. I'm going to wait. And then it took a year for most people to catch on. And then more people were saying, you know what? I've been waiting a year for there to be an inventory. And maybe a year ago, I should have listened when someone said, you need to order. That's the way of doing business now. Well, now there's been a shift. <laughs> there's been a big shift. Marie, you can finally get to sit in cars and test drive them. How does that make you feel? <laughs> You're speaking about the Bronco? <laughs> Yeah, you can even test drive a Bronco. Mm -hmm. There's three for sale at my dealership, all at MSRP. And that's an absolutely amazing vehicle to get at MSRP. Yeah. And you know what? To buy in a heartbeat. Great deal because of resale. Yeah, I guess I never saw a Bronco in the showroom. And now you have uh, the chance to sit uh, in it, uh, to see all the buttons before you, you buy it, before you were not able to do that. And at the same time, for sure, while you order, you have the time to cancel, to have something else at another dealership that comes in and you switch. So I guess now that you have inventory, less cancellation because you just go out with the car right now. You don't have time to think and cancel. <laughs> and some of the cancellations are that, you know, this story isn't as shocking as the title as any, almost all YouTube titles. Sometimes they're just completely wrong. Sometimes they're way off topic. Mm -hmm. But in this case, you know, it's very truthful. There are record cancellations and like you cut, you just covered. Sometimes it's because in the meantime, people came in, sat in a Bronco and go, this one's available. I love this one. I'm going to buy it. And then their Bronco mm -hmm. order is gone. And that's peachy and rosy and rainbows for, for y'all. But please, if you have to cancel an order, especially at Ford, let your dealership know because a lot of people have this idea of all oh, the dealerships going to be so happy. People write it in the comments. I had some person say they got a Sportage hybrid because uh, instead of their Maverick and they let the dealership have the Maverick and the Maverick actually they came in pretty much at the same time they knew they could have the Maverick and they chose the Sportage so some people make mistakes these things happen I would call that a mistake because the Kia Sportage isn't going to have the wildly incredible good resale value of the Maverick right now I don't understand anyone who doesn't take possession of their Maverick because you make money with it Speaking of that, our Cubo has a question about that yes. resale value when you said Maverick. You said which one is uh, better for trade-in, Maverick or Bronco? It depends on the region, but generally overall the Maverick is better because it's selling for use for over MSRP. And the Bronco, well, the Bronco in some regions is still selling over MSRP and it depends which Bronco. A Bronco Raptor at MSRP, I'd buy that in a heartbeat. Even if I don't have the money because I drive it like <laughs> I drive it through a few fields up a few mountains keep it for a year and I wouldn't have any concern or worry about reselling it in a year when that's normally uh, an average vehicle I'm tired of after one month a vehicle I like three months a vehicle I really like six months and a vehicle I'm just you know in love with generally a year the bron both my Broncos I kept for over a year because I've never enjoyed a vehicle that much I personally would take the Bronco because I really love it and I don't really care how much money I spend on a vehicle that I really love I really like the Maverick I think it's incredible for the price absolutely incredible for the price but I personally would just take the Bronco because I'll have more more satisfaction when owning it. But if we're just looking at dollars, I'd take the Maverick, except for certain special models. Because at least in my region, Broncos do depreciate a little. The used ones after one year, a lot of dealerships are asking MSRP for them, meaning they're not paying that on trade-in. And if you go to sell it at that price, well, you might sit on it for a while. And prices could come down with time over with the Bronco. They have our first Bronco. Uh, as you all know, you know, Broncos at first were selling for way over MSRP, any model. And that's just not quite uh, the case. Now that is a beautiful view and that's the view from my office. And I absolutely love the view from my office. But I want to conclude <laughs> the idea when I was t talking earlier mm -hmm. about the importance of the vehicle you buy. Often the vehicles with the best rebates, the biggest rebates are going to have a lot of that model in inventory. And that is your first red flag 
to knowing it could be a vehicle that will depreciate a good amount. Now to figure out if that red flag really truly should steer you away from the vehicle, ask yourself, how long am I going to keep it? How Because that's an important question for how important the resale is. The shorter time span you keep a new vehicle, the more important it is that it has great resale, low depreciation. The Bronco has low, incredibly low depreciation and some models will still make you money if you keep them for, you know, if you drive them for a year. They'll, you know, generally, I'm not worried. The Bronco, your payments will, will lower your amount owing faster than the actual depreciation of the vehicle. So if you keep a Bronco two years, I'm not worried at all because I expect that vehicle, even on trade, you don't even take that effort to sell it yourself to get the a few thousand more. You trade it in and I really truly expect that you're going to owe less than what you get offered for it on trade. Here's the Badlands. They're all great models. Now the Ford Maverick, this is the model we chose the wild track but let's get over to the ford maverick we'll get back to the model that we chose a little later but the ford maverick i think is an incredible incredible vehicle for e even not for the price at ten thousand dollars more at honda ridgeline prices it's still a great vehicle i don't see this being any worse than a honda ridgeline and i actually feel it's better than a honda ridgeline because it gets quite a bit better fuel economy and its resale is a lot better. And it gives a very comfortable drive. The seat's very comfortable. Uh, we didn't take this down to Florida, but we do have uh, Ridgeview, our, our, our special moderator here. He did it. He did it. Well, <laughs> he didn't take it. Well, yes, he took it down to Florida and he took it to Kansas, I think twice. So. And he said it was comfortable. Yes. And he loves the, the miles per gallon that he does with it. So, yeah, that's, that's a good thing. Usually, I had to calculate things in smiles per gallon because usually <laughs> it was the vehicles that took a lot of fuel, consumed a lot of fuel, that provided a lot of fun. Hence, my term, smiles per gallon. So I would equate, and I actually tried to work this out into a mathematical <laughs> formula where the more smiles you get, the less of an impact of the, the miles per gallon are, and to try to come out with percentages. Uh, I, I think I had worked it out, but that was about two three years ago now, but there's even record cancellations with Super Duties. So of the last four or five Mavericks that came in, two were canceled. And I don't understand. To me, it makes no sense. Two Mavericks being canceled. That means two people out of five said, and you know, this isn't shocking. It's not because, you know, the economy is so horrible that they can't afford it. This is one of the most affordable vehicles in monthly payment. And it's one of the most affordable vehicles when it, well, it, it's really the most affordable vehicle when it comes to fuel economy. And one of the cancel two of the cancellations were hybrids. It makes no sense. These vehicles could have been bought, driven for seven months, throw on 15,000 miles and been sold for over MSRP. And I think it's, a too bad. And actually, of the five clients, one, it reflects that the economy is hard. They just bought with these hot, super high interest rates. And he ordered when he didn't plan on buying a house and he didn't have a mortgage with crazy high interest. And even though he bought a house on his own and he was saying, things are tough. I just bought a house on my own. I had that down payment to make here in our area. They, ha they, ca they have what's called a welcome tax, but it's uh, la taxe de Bévenu because the minister that created it, his family name was Bévenu, which means welcome in, in yeah. French. That's and a little, uh, how can I say that? Sounds like a joke, but it's not a joke. <laughs> The welcome tax, but it's not a welcome tax. Yeah, and really, I think <laughs> to his family name to represent how it feels, there should have been, you know, glutes in his name or maybe a more cruder word for, for glutes uh, in his name because it is such a kick in the pants of a tax. Basically, you buy a house and they go, well, welcome. You have to pay your welcome tax and it's several thousand dollars. So... Less money than suspect expected. 
almost canceled his Maverick on his own. He goes and shops around and he told me, he's like, look, I shopped around the prices for one and two year old, like for early 22s Mavericks, late 2022 Mavericks. He's like, I, I, I think I'm going to make money or at least I think I can drive this for free. And I was like, and he's like, what do you think? I was like, I can't promise the future. I don't have a crystal ball, but right now, that's the case. So even though interest rates have gotten too expensive, his conclusion was, I'm going to I'm gonna take it. And if I can't afford it in four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten 10 months, 12 months, if there's ever a time where I go, you know what, I can't handle the payment. He's like, I've got my 10-year-old vehicle. I'll just sell the Maverick and I'll make do with the 10-year-old vehicle. And then I gave him a little advice about fixing up under warranty, um, under warranty because he has a European vehicle that's still under warranty. And sorry, it's not 10 years old. It's, it's, it's eight years old and for somehow it's still under warranty. And I think it probably could, there must've been a class action lawsuit that actually won on this one. Um, the manufacturer is feeling pretty responsible for the rust on the vehicle, which is kind of ridiculous that a Volkswagen would still have rust on it. Uh, and, and, uh, I've got other friends. I've got a lawyer friend who had a Volkswagen and that way back in the day he pushed to get his rust repaired on it but i said hey get the rust fixed on the vehicle and then you've got a vehicle that's going to sell for so much more because a little bit of rust all over a vehicle kind of looks like a four or five thousand dollar repair and that's important to consider when buying a vehicle you know you look at honda civics and when you see a lot of the honda civics in our area with requiring body paint work on every single panel it's an eight thousand dollar job so that's, for me, a huge reason to not buy a Honda Civic if I were the type to keep vehicles, let's say, seven, eight years, because I don't want to run the risk having a vehicle that's worth absolutely nothing because it requires $8,000 in repairs. So hybrid gets canceled. So let's cover this. What happens to canceled vehicles? We, and I think we've adequately covered, I don't understand why people would cancel some models but the real reasons people cancel is well people have waited for the really popular models anything hybrid these days starts at about a one-year wait kia hyundai two to three years toyota two to four years this is just across the board and this is just what's going on because of the whole battery situation you can actually get a ford f-150 lightning if you order certain models relatively quick and other models not quick at all we'll cover that coming up in a bit on this live so we're doing this live folks if you're watching this not on a monday night you're watching our cut up mini episode so people cancel because well things change over a year and a half sometimes bought people buy a boat or a house or both in the meantime sometimes people go to refinance their mortgage and they're at one point six or seven percent previously with let's say a sixteen hundred dollar payment now if you have to refinance because your five-year contract is up and you're at seven point five percent well it's probably going to look like a payment of more around thirty six hundred it's like wow well, two thousand dollars more on the payment now i'm just quickly doing this off the top of my head it might not be exactly that and i'm not sure if i want to ask marie to kindly look up an interest payment calculator because normally that's my thing so i don't know if she'll find <laughs> it within 30 seconds as i would <laughs> but anyone who's out there sure that knows one of these mortgage uh house mortgage interest payment calculators wants to do it up you could try it out you know put in a standard mortgage amount of 350 or 400,000, put it in at 1.5 percent over 25 years and look what mm -hmm. that's going to give for a payment then try it out when you hit that at 7.5 percent it's gonna it's gonna be a whole lot more so that's another reason people aren't taking vehicles things change sometimes people you know they, they don't pass for credit when the vehicle comes in and other times people's older vehicle just broke down and they had to buy a vehicle right now <laughs> and that's just you know they had to they had to deal with the facts and they had to pick up a vehicle when maybe they would have been a lot better off getting their they're they're you know highly anticipated highly weighted for vehicle so basically if you're looking at vehicles right now where dealerships have zero available and you have to order a lot of people go i have to order no thank you i'll go find something that i have all sorts of colors to pick from all sorts of different powertrain and trims to pick from and 
I'm going to not just shop a vehicle. I'm mostly just going to shop a rebate. A lot of people mm -hmm. don't shop for a vehicle. So many buyers just shop for a price. They only look at how much rebate are you giving me? Oh, you're only giving me this much rebate? They go off to the next manufacturer and walk into a dealer. How much rebate am I getting? Guess what? When you shop based on rebate, what do you end up buying? You buy a rebate, not a vehicle. Mm -hmm. Ford Bronco, zero rebate, amazing resale. Ford Maverick, zero rebate, amazing resale. Toyota RAV4 Prime, zero rebate, three to four year wait, unless you're in a region that absolutely despises anything with a battery in it. There's some regions, you might actually pick one up right away, probably a canceled order. And we'll get to that because that's important to talk about and when we're talking about cancellations. And that's why they have a good resale value because people like it, you need to wait. People want so them. Yeah, it's it goes with the popularity. Yeah, <laughs> that's a great, thank you for wrapping that up really well for me. Thank you. Because that's exactly it. If there's a long line waiting for something, the resale will it be means good. it's probably good. It means there's a whole lot of people saying, I'm willing to deal with this huge inconvenience because this restaurant, this ice cream joint, this vehicle is so incredible, I'm willing to wait outside in 35 degree weather to get my ice cream or to get into this restaurant or to get this Ford Maverick or Ford Bronco. Well, amazing resale. What I do worry about is when you do have every single color available, every single trim available, there you've got a red flag to say, watch out. We'll change the game. This could have horrible resale value. Mm -hmm. Our Cubo, thank you very much. Uh, I appreciate you asking questions and we're, we're, we love giving uh, advice here. You know, we're insiders. Uh, Marie used to work in the financial department at a dealership and now she's off into a different aspect <laughs> but still in the automobile world as well automobile and houses yeah, not so far <laughs> not that far off and well I've been uh, you could say an insider for well the last 10 years and I've been automotive passionate for my basically my whole life so <laughs> what gets cancelled everything gets cancelled just because there's cancelled models on a lot doesn't mean you should go oh someone didn't want that and that's human that's a normal human reaction very common human reaction is someone wants that i want it oh but it's not available right now well never mind i'm offended i'm bothered it, it's an inconvenience i'm walking away you got to fight that if there's a long lot waiting list for it in the automobile world that means it's a great purchase you're gonna have great resale However, the brain's going to tell you otherwise. The brain, and also the brain's going to tell you, oh, it's a canceled order. People are canceling this. Oh, it must mean there's something wrong with it. It's bad. Folks, this isn't, you know, clothes. It's not clothes that maybe someone said no to because there's a hole in it or a funky smell. And even then, you know, the rebate's good in, with clothes. Check it over. Automobiles, it's different. People are canceling these because of a multitude of reasons that we already covered and I won't go through again but you know that's why things are getting cancelled they're getting cancelled because people's plans change lives change and sometimes people just make weird automotive decisions I think getting a Sportage instead of a hybrid Maverick is really weird but different strokes for different folks you know some people and you know I, I don't ever base what I think on what other people think. I try to look at data and my own experience because really, are you really going to listen to what other people think when how many times have you been out driving your vehicle and there's a bicycle lane? And how many bicycles use the bicycle lane? They usually drive outside of the bicycle lane. <laughs> Would it be a good idea to follow those unbelievably intelligent people? A rent will follow. <laughs> what about the fact that so many people go to the gym and the majority of the time don't wash their hands after going to the bathroom. Do you really want to follow what those people are doing and base your decisions based on those people? Or how about the people that don't use a blinker even when they're going to go from your lane and do a U-turn where there's, there's like, it's just the main road and you're right behind them. 
and there's traffic all over and they didn't use a blinker anyways <laughs> appeal to the majority uh, is un unfortunate it's a logical fallacy and it's sort of a oh a hole in our brains a hole that our brains encourage us to fall into it's an evo it's something we evolved through evolution it's just easy to to fall in old survival skill you know kind of this survive as a group die as a group and more often than not it must have led to surviving as a group but it doesn't just because the majority is doing something doesn't mean it's right and often people will project if they know of you know two Mavericks for sale and one's cancelled, they, they get the idea of, oh, well, 50% of them are being cancelled. No, 50% of them are not getting cancelled. Uh, generally, dealerships are playing between 15 to 30%, and it doesn't matter what make or model we're talking about, as long as the dealership that m manufacture is still taking orders. Toyota, pretty much all orders being taken because they don't have any inventory, whereas F-150s, well, there's inventory. So not a whole lot of orders for F-150s because people will often, often take what's on the lot because what's on the lot looks pretty good. And there are a lot of F-150s for sale, not because it's a bad choice. You know, normally that would be one red flag that I'd have, but that's just because production, they can build a million of those F-150s per year. And well, that just leads to actual inventory because a million's a lot and it's a little yeah. bit more than it's about even with demand yeah and at the same time i know some people love to see it before shopping for it before buying it so it's great that finally a dealer uh, will have inventory i remember when That's i was fantastic. young my dad uh, on uh, sundays <laughs> goes to a dealership some he did maybe two to three dealerships sometimes just to see the the uh, window price sticker and see the cars by himself, see what's the price. So yeah, like you said, some people just buy a price. Some people want to see it before buying it. Biggest some rebates are on the biggest yeah. losers, folks. The vehicles that depreciate the most have always started off with the biggest rebate. And the vehicles that are the least desirable with the most amount of problems, the least reliable, have the biggest rebates that's why i'm completely that's against <laughs> it's it's the biggest red flag having the biggest rebate on the market usually means it's the biggest steaming pile of horse crap they need to uh, get fire. rid of it <laughs> it's a dumpster fire they need to do anything they can to get rid of it well and it's not based you know i'm not saying just because people don't want it it means it's bad i'm saying usually the resale is really bad and usually the reliability is quite poor. Usually. <laughs> you got to, you know, do a little bit of research, read some articles, um, you know, some good mechanics websites, not necessarily forums, because every single model on from every single manufacturer will pop up in a forum being like, hey, you know, we've got this problem, we've got that problem. And it's a problem forum. So you'll only read problems and it'll skew your vision. You'll think, oh, wow, there's only problems here. Like, yeah, of course, they're a forum to only talk about problems for that model. <laughs> so yes, every single every single forum comment is going to be, oh, I've got this problem. Around that. Yeah. Around that. It's, gonna, it's the subject of the forum. So you've got to watch. But uh, I really like uh, repairbill.com, I think. Repairbill.com. It is the one I was looking at. So loving the Bronco that we've got. Lots of 2024 changes. You can catch a lot of our videos recently have been about these fantastic changes. Now I just want to remind people really quickly, this bumper is gone for the Badlands and the Wild Track. This was the, the, the modular bumper, bumper. Sorry, it's the capable bumper. It's not the modular bumper. It's being replaced by the modular bumper, which is 100% steel with no fog lights. This had fog lights and it's some plastic with a good amount of steel. Well, we're going all steel. We actually ordered our wild track with it because we feel it's better. So there's Marie giving us the no, no finger because no, no, it's no gone. More. No more. So good. Good little uh, acting there. I appreciate your help, honey. <laughs> yeah, this time I, I don't have the cowboy hat. I'm happy that you, you switched the picture now. <laughs> but these are great vehicles, great resale. People are canceling them just the same. But why? 
why are why are so few orders now coming in? Not necessarily for the Bronco. In some regions, tons of orders, tons and tons and tons of orders for these, just like lightnings. Some regions, tons of orders. Other regions, there's inventory. So these are regional vehicles. Not every region will appreciate a less fuel economic vehicle that is just go anywhere and unbelievably comfortable. Not every region is going to jump on this. Just like not every region, electric vehicles are very regional. They're unbelievably popular in certain regions and so-so, lukewarm, we'll say, in other regions. But people are, are ordering less vehicles now because there's alternatives that are available. But be careful that one of the alternatives that you get isn't something that has poor reputation for reliability and by reliability i don't mean about uh, please avoid the whole reliable reliability equals how many recalls there are lots of recalls isn't ideal but lots of recalls does mean you get it fixed for free the it's worst taken care of. it's taken care of the worst is manufacturers ignoring the problem saying it's not their problem and then you pay for that so you want to look at overall cost of ownership so there's a company for that called vincentric uh, vincentric will follow that and they'll look at the vehicles and the models with the lowest cost of ownership and actually ford traditionally has always had a low cost of ownership so i think that's fantastic that's cost of ownership that's how much money's coming out of your pocket so you want a responsible company that pays to make sure that their product is good and speaking of good products ford has listened for the 2024 bron 2024 ford bronco a lot of improvements you've got you know this top now so that the water doesn't just come in when you open up the the window you've got no more base model but you have the big ben the black diamond the badlands all with washable rubberized floor washable means there's a plug you pull and you can just hose out the bottom don't put it on high pressure you don't want all that water spraying up so you've got some really nice changes and you've got a 12 inch screen in all the models we'll talk about that at the end of the live because our favorite models kind of change now that you get a 12 inch screen on mm -hmm. all models and this will push jeep to be Better. Already this vehicle was pushing Jeep to be a lot better because probably would have been another decade that Jeep would have offered tiny little not so well illuminated and not so colorful screens. So we should see the double ribbing uh, does a really good job. Yeah, it now. really changed uh, how it feels when it rains. We don't have water coming in the car. Yeah. Now, That's a good change. lots of people not ordering because you can even now find Broncos available at certain dealerships. Very regional. In other, certain regions, you're going to wait a year and a half. And I realize that generally across the states, you're going to wait a year and a half. But if you do find an available new Bronco and you get it and you can get it for inventory, uh, for MSRP and it's in inventory, jump all over it. But this is a model that I would not be afraid to order and wait for. It's worth it, folks. Now, people were asking us last week, how much is the deposit? Do you want to answer this one? Yeah, I think I have the, the good answer, but you will cover me if I'm wrong. It could always depend on the dealership. Sometimes it's the dealership who choose uh, the amount. Am I right? Yeah, the was dealership. working like Absolutely. that when I was at Toyota. So Absolutely. Yeah, and it always depends on the demand or stuff like that. If it's an order, for sure you will have a deposit because an order, uh, they don't want you to cancel it easily like that. <laughs> but if you have it in inventory, sometimes it don't ask for it. It could always depend on the rules at the dealership. And in some regions, it's legally required to refund oh. the deposit. So look up your consumer protection laws for your region, because here, by law, a deposit must be reimbursed. You haven't taken possession of the vehicle. It, it doesn't matter if you signed a purchase offer, if you haven't taken possession, you can get reimbursed. So if you've been waiting a year, and you'd rather not wait any longer and get a vehicle that instead that's gonna depreciate a lot, and be maybe less reliable go ahead cancel your order but please let your dealership know as soon as possible because at ford if you haven't been assigned a vin yet 
and the dealership cancels, they're not going to be in a situation where they go above 30%. So at Ford, if you lose more than 30% of the people you ordered for, you're going to get a whole lot less vehicles. And getting less vehicles is what originally caused dealerships to start charging over MSRP. You know, they were getting half or a third less vehicles. And they're like, oh boy, to balance the books, we got to ask for a market adjustment. And when they're asking for an extra, let's say 5,000, but you're getting an extra 10 on your trade above historical norms, or even sometimes $8,000 more than the year before when your car was a year newer, I saw a lot of that. Well, it didn't seem as bad. But now vehicles are trade-ins are starting to come down in value. So you definitely want to avoid paying over MSRP because it's not no longer as if you're getting five, 10, or even 15,000 more for the, your trade than normal, but then only paying a $5,000 over MSRP, which oddly a lot of channels two years ago were saying, don't buy a vehicle at all. Actually titles were, it is the worst time to buy a vehicle right now. We'll talk about that. We'll do a really quick little mini episode for uh, two, three minutes. Just want to point out here, break up the show quickly and say that is your modular front bumper. So it's all metal. And yes, the sensors do can go on it if you get a high package. But now for 2024, there is no longer a high package. Luxury and high package being called the high lux package is all one grouping. For So for some people, you're going to find the price increases have gone up by a bit, by a good amount. But for other people, you're gonna go, wow, I'm barely paying more for a Big Ben, but I've got a 12 inch screen. Woo, steal of a deal on models like the Big Ben, the Black Diamond and the Badlands. Incredible, so many people were taking, let's say Badlands or Outer Banks because they want to have access to that high package to have that 12 inch touch screen in the front and Ford did something incredible. They've installed a front camera here and you see it here on this one, we can zoom right in. You got your front camera here and there's a button that you press Baja mode and you're going to see what's going on right in front of you. So incredible, the incredible, incredible tech that the Bronco has brought. Not the most insulated sound, not the vehicle, the best sound deadening material on the market, but plenty good to listen to your music and fine for the winters that we've driven them. Hmm. So another nice change, you've got code orange so you can have the raptor with your orange bead locks your orange color but the orange paint is gone for 2024 but they've painted the fenders so the thing that bothered you the most and really the only thing that bothered you with this model marie were the non-painted black plastic fenders it was because it was looking too big but uh, now that i see it painted it's more softer <laughs> it's better i guess i saw it in person because our dealership had one sold at MSRP. And I was like, wow, the plastic huge fenders don't look that bad in person. They looked worse on the computer than they did in but person. But I saw it when you had it in the dealership and uh, no, it was a no for me. <laughs> okay. Well, I appreciate Sorry. your honesty. <laughs> and for 2024, we're supposed to be able to get these aftermarket uh, wow. vehicles photo provided by Autoblog. But these are some really nice mags that are going to be an $1,800 option. Those painted fenders are really quite something, but that's just a Raptor. It's a one-off model, but models that have great value, specialty models. So I would never cancel something like a Mach 1. These are going to hold up their value quite well. And actually the Ford Mustang is one of the models on the market that hold the best value overall. So year after year, it seems to be raking in awards for a vehicle that holds the best value. But now we'll see it'll have to be the car that holds its best value because right now the Maverick doesn't just hold value, it gains value. So how do you beat that? Well, you can't. The Ma Maverick's gonna be one of the best vehicles on the market. So record cancellations, let's just quickly wrap this up. You can get your deposit back in many regions. Check the P Consumer Protection Act of your area. That's gonna help you get your deposit back. And that covers it, folks. People will cancel good vehicles, they'll cancel 
bad vehicles. It's just part of life that cancellations happen. And don't think a model is bad just because it's on the lot and it's been canceled. We have record cancellations because we have had record orders. Now order taking is no longer in a record state. We don't have the highest amount of records uh, of orders. We don't have the record setting highest amount of orders ever taken in the history of the automobile world because that was 2021 2022 probably a 12 month period between a bit of 21 the halfway point of 21 to the half halfway point of 2022 inventories were just unbelievably low